Join us this week as we cross the border into Portugal. Country number nine. We've never been to Portugal before, and to be honest, we don't know much about it. The only thing we do know is that it's a very popular destination for van lifers. Is it the mild winter climate or the miles of coastline that makes it so popular? Either way, we can't wait to find out. But before we get deep into the adventure, we're on the hunt for water. We headed inland and into the rugged hills for our first Portuguese park up. We spent one night here finding our bearings and getting acclimatised to another country. We headed inland to avoid the crowds, joining only a few other vans. We're now going to head to our New Year's Eve spot, give it a bit of a scout out and we'll be by the coast once again. Yeah, it's the 30th of December at the moment, so we've got one night to test it yeah. to see if that's where we're going to stay. We've got water, Meg's done a few trips, bless her, and I yeah. supervised. But it was free, so <laughs> yeah. that was good. The, uh, the pillar's broken, so we had free water, hopefully it's drinkable. So let's hit the road. Mm. Sun shining, feeling good. So it's safe to say we have come the scenic route round. Oh yes, definitely. We are well up in the mountains at the moment, which is absolutely lovely. We've had a tranquil day, haven't we? Yeah, it's a beautiful view behind us. Yeah, I don't know if the camera's going to do it justice right at this point, but um, we'll get to capture some more. But we've still got a bit of a drive ahead of us. Yeah. The route here has been really nice because we've seen the rugged Portuguese countryside. Mm -hmm. It's been really nice to see. Obviously, it's very reminiscent of Spain. Mm. So I keep forgetting that we've crossed the border, but it's been lovely. So we've arrived, it's pretty busy, I imagine it's because most of these people are doing exactly the same as what we're doing over the new year period, so we're going to stay here tonight and see what we think of it, but it looks pretty good. Lots of motorhomes, different sizes and shapes, I've just put the kettle on for a cup of coffee. We're in the car park behind the main market of Tavira so we're going to go check that out tomorrow see if I can pick up a few things for a celebratory tea tomorrow night because it is the night tomorrow good morning we have left the van we are off to the shops this parking area is right at the back of the town's market so we're going to go check it out I'm on the lookout for a couple of things today. We're going to be doing a few of the Portuguese New Year traditions. So let's go shopping. It's also a trip to uh, find out where we're actually going and need to be tonight because we have never been here before and we don't know where we're going. One of my favorite things to do in a new country is check out the local market testing out our Portuguese and deciding what's for dinner. We then headed into Tavira Town Centre. You don't see that every day, turtles at a fountain. Anyway, this is where we're going to be tonight and we'll find out what it looks like later by nightfall. I believe the fireworks are over the river, so I'm imagining they're over there but we thought we'd best get our bearings and find out where we're supposed to be before it goes dark and we have absolutely no idea. A tub of prawns from the market for tea tonight and I also bought 100 grams of raisins. Why raisins? More on that later. So this New Year's is definitely going to be a bit different for me and Meg. We're quite a far away from home. Usually we spend it with friends and family. But because we're in Portugal this year, we've decided to immerse ourselves fully into the Portuguese traditions. Meg has researched a list of things we should do to keep up with Portuguese tradition and she'll run you through 
them now. And you too, because you don't <laughs> bloody know either. First thing on the list, Cal, you're going to have to change your pants. Tonight we've got to wear blue underwear. I've had them ready, I've had to put them by because we're down to our last few pairs each. So, yours and mine, mine are these ones, these are yours ones. These are a token of good luck in the new year. Blue is also for better communication for next year. They should be new, but that's the closest we're gonna get. Clean is good enough for us. Next up is one of the more iconic traditions in Portugal. I have been to the market today and the raisins that I bought earlier We've got to eat one at every strike of the clock past midnight. And each one we swallow, we have to make a wish. But well, we only have to eat 12, don't we? 12 chimes. Yeah. So there's 12 chimes after midnight, and we have to eat one and swallow one at each strike past midnight. We swallow them, we make a wish, and then we swallow it down with some very special carver. This is another bottle from our trip to the vineyard just outside Barcelona. It's another one from Carver Guilleria. It's a rosé version, so we've taken that. We need to have money in our pocket slash in our hand when the new year comes in. So we'll take the purse and make sure we've got that to hand. And then something a little bit different, which I'm, I'm preparing for, but part of me thinks that it might not happen depending on what other people are doing around us, is just after midnight, to ward off evil spirits, you're supposed to bang pots and pans. So I'm taking our compact pack, one person's, two person's, and make a bit of bloody noise. Uh, Something that we kind of do in England anyway is a kiss at midnight, which will probably be swallowing um, raisins at the same time. <laughs> She's going to be a bit more of a bush tucker trial for Cal because the raisins have got seeds in, but we are allowed to eat them because they've got plenty of antioxidants in the seeds. Mm, great style. And then the next thing, tomorrow it's custom to have a dip in the sea, which I will definitely be partaking in. What about you, Cal? No, we'll see. I really want you to because you need all the luck you can bloody get. <laughs> I've got you. I've lucked out. Bad luck, I admittedly, but... <laughs> and today we haven't eaten chicken as our last meal because that's bad luck and no chocolate today, Cal, either, I'm afraid. That's all right. I, chicken and chocolate is usually my primary diet, but one day off, <laughs> I'll start again tomorrow. So we're going to cook tea in a little while and I'm going to make a banging dish with the prawns that I bought from the market, which I'm very, very excited about. Wow, we Meg's prepared a right feast here, and what a way to start our New Year's festivities. Is that the right word? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Celebrations? Yeah, that's probably a better word instead of festivities, because Christmas is done, although our little tree's still up. The centrepiece of this meal is definitely the shrimps that Meg has prepared, and little bits of chorizo. Yeah. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Butter and a little bit of chilli. Oh. Uh, they do look good. That's quite a lot to get through but I'm sure we'll manage it. We've got a finger bowl also at the ready and a cloth because it's going to be a messy job. We're very sophisticated in this van. So we've got the blue pants on, the bag's packed. We're ready to go into Vera which put on a New Year's celebration for the whole town and the tourists that are there too. So there's bands, there's a DJ after 12 o'clock and fireworks. So let's go and check it out. Well, we don't know what to expect, but we are wrapped up because it is, as I've said multiple times and whinged, it is cold at night times here in Portugal. Mm. Um, so we're wrapped up, prepared. We've got our drinks, we've got our raisins, we've got our pants, we've got our money, we've got everything we need. Let's hit the town. We've even got pots and pans. <laughs> was approaching fast, so we prepared the carver and counted out our 12 raisins.
The fireworks began and so did the raisin eating and making wishes, which was pretty hard to do all at the same time. And just because I bought them. <laughs> tipsiness and a fat churro. I went for these because they're definitely hot because I've just seen them come out of the fryer. They've got cinnamon and sugar on and I'm really, really excited. That's very nice but there's a lot of sugar on top. Mm. Very good. Not to have another one, really. Is only one euro. We partied away into the wee hours and eventually managed to find our way back to the van. Someone had too many raisins last night. We stayed up till quarter past three. I think I'm quite proud. Anybody at home that actually like knows our habits knows that that is quite an achievement. We had a little bit too much wine, so our heads hurt a little bit this morning. <laughs> but nothing that a Boston fry up is not going to fix. And we had a very enjoyable night, very different. We had a little dance, a little boogie, because the DJ came on afterwards and yeah, I had a belly full of churros as well. <laughs> no, it was a really good fun night. It was a good way to see in the new year. We'll see if the raisins grant our wishes and if the uh, blue pants make my communication better. Yeah. But judging by what I just said then, I don't think they have. <laughs> <laughs> and the pots and pans warded off <laughs> two seconds of spirits, so... The only person in Portugal with the pots and pans out. I did it. I bought them with me. So... Last thing to do today, hit the beach and go for a swim. So we're going to be spending the rest of New Year's Day 2020 on Praia do Baril. It is an 11 kilometre island, about 10 minutes away from where we stayed last night. And we have driven and then come over a little bridge which can take the train as well. The walk over took 15 minutes or so and it's absolutely beautiful. Quiet, gorgeous white sand and I don't think we're going to be bothered by anybody because we've come a long way down the beach to find a little piece of our own paradise. So as we've mentioned a few times, getting in the sea on New Year's Day is a tradition. So we're going to have a little walk down and just see exactly uh, what temperature we're playing with. I've got a feeling I might not get fully submerged. Um, it's quite nice out here, but it's not, it's not like swimming weather, is it? You're going in and that's final. <laughs> You've got to. It's a New Year's tradition. <laughs> I'll go are. in. I'll go in, yeah. but you never specified how deep. You need I to swim, my... you need to go for a dip, <laughs> swim, you've it's got chopping. to. <laughs> Worth it? Fresh, <laughs> very fresh. I saw a big wave come for you as soon as you went in. Uh, good timing. I panicked a touch for that one, that was uh, mm, fresh. So it's dropped cold and I've let you off your New Year's Day swim. But don't come crying to me when my 2020 is better than yours. If mine's bad, I'll just drag you down because we'll be side by side the whole way, won't we? Oh yeah. So um, I did go in, I've paddled, but I didn't get in in. And um, I don't know, I think it would have finished me off. It's quite chilly now, the sun's going. Yeah, and my feet are really cold in this white sand. But we were meant to be here for sundown because Meg's got a little bit of a thing she wanted to do. Yes. And, and hopefully we've timed it just about right, but we better be quick. 
The Anchor Cemetery is the memorial site of a once thriving fishing village. Rows upon rows of rusting fishing boat anchors honour the town's historic tuna and octopus trade. It's such a beautiful sight at sundown. So that is a wonderful end to our New Year's Day 2020. A uh, big thanks to Meg for sorting and organising this whole few days. It's mm. worked out really well and uh, we've done, done ourselves proud this yeah. year, I think. You never really know what to expect, but it has been rather wonderful and just totally different than normal. But now we're going to head back to the van and tonight we're going to find a spot near Faro Airport because tomorrow my mum and sister are flying in for a 10 day break with us. But we're not going to be squeezing everyone into the van. We're going to be checking in to an Airbnb instead. Yeah, so we don't know exactly what's going to happen or if we're going to film it, but... we got some cool stuff planned afterwards anyway, so we'll see you in the next one. Happy New Year. Happy New Year. Although this is probably February slash March. True, but uh, <laughs> sentiment's still the same. Um, so yeah, Meg's, we've got some... Um... <laughs> <laughs> and what exactly? So the um, the centerpiece of the um, these bring in <clears throat> these will. We're just wondering how different it's going to be to when we visited earlier, mm. and if the little turtles are all right. That's what my main concern is. <laughs> shopping? You ready, Cal? Always. You love shopping, don't you? Mm. But I've got a bit of a bribe for Cal because he's really not a sea swimming kind of guy. And it's really important for me that he goes and swims in the sea on New Year's Day. So, bought this at the shop. And if you go in, you get to eat it. You go upside down. <laughs> Are you going in or what? <laughs>